just watching her event today, I found myself not able to stop smiling. And this to me is just the epitome of the extra step towards freedom. This chair is very different than uh, regular power chairs and uh, existing commercialized uh, manual wheelchairs because it is controlled via a smartphone. So essentially, when you tilt the phone forward, um, the chair moves forward. When you tilt it back, the chair moves back and also moves on diagonal directions because the chair is also completely omnidirectional. I don't have to use wheels for this. I can just, I feel free to move my own. And in my other chair, I have to use my wheels. My manual chair can sometimes be difficult to push, carry things. It also doesn't move all the directions I would like to move in the other chair. I can use that for moving sideways, diagonally, things that this chair just doesn't do. I think it's very exciting seeing Mary Lynn dance with her or me even being with her, seeing that freedom, that closeness. You know, Mary Lynn's rolling dance chair is the epitome of exactly what we're trying to do here at USF as far as getting faculty across different colleges, different departments across the university to work together. The office worked with Marilyn and the other inventors to strategically protect the intellectual property as the technology has been developing. It's very important to have a commercial partner like Vertec, even more so in an area where you have such significant safety concerns and you have a population that's going to vary greatly in mobility. Another aspect of this chair that's really unique compared to other wheelchairs is that it really restores those psychosocial connections in such things like the height change so that we're allowed to have eye-to-eye -eye contact, you know, just the ease of hugging, um, walking side by side, hand held as well because the person doesn't again need to worry about controlling their chair, they can just connect. When I'm in the chair, I feel free.